On my legal walk last night I found this and today I went and got it and brought it back legally. It's one of those super cheap record players you see. I think it's about the cheapest model. And uh, interesting to see how it actually works. Or oh, if it does work. Well, a turntable spinning. That's good. That's a good sign. Let's try the AM band. I will watch streaming stuff on TV, but mm. I tend not to watch it on my computer or tablet. Teeth first prize. Distancing and zoning of cities. Oh. Um, so even without... Uh, <laughs> The outside creative lab. That's the way I try. Oh, FM works too. No. I think it's gonna come back to me. Right, we'll see how the record player works. Oh look it's turning, that's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah, very good. Get a record out. Here it is. Look at that. The Weavers at Carnegie Hall, 1963. That was my first record. Oh, look at them there, singing away, Pete Seeger, oh, all the rest of them. Oh. Right, we'll try it out. See, it can fit the big record like that. And they've even organised it so you can have the cover closed and play a 12 inch. That's pretty smart of them, isn't it? I'm not really wrecking this vintage vanguard record of the Weavers at Carnegie Hall. As you can see, it's got quite a few very big scratches on it. I think I have a better copy somewhere. OK, we'll have a look and see what's inside it. All will be revealed soon. Well, there's a turntable. A little uh, DC motor. Uh, speed controller thing there <coughs> and uh, the main circuit board have got uh, the phono amplifier no doubt well obviously <laughs> and we've got an AM ferrite rod for the AM tuner and the FM antenna this wire that goes out the back and the tuning gang yeah so basically uh, pretty simple uh, two uh, crapmatic speakers what I would like to do is um, tap these speakers off and uh, put them into decent speakers and see what the thing really sounds like um, in proper speakers. It will be quite good. There's the main chip there, one of the uh, standard AM FM radio chips, a cheap sort of chip. And underneath there I can't get to it, but that's uh, there's another chip there which is a, a cheap um, stereo a couple of watt amplifier chips probably worth about 10 cents probably the whole thing's worth about 20 cents and they sell them for about 20 dollars or something so there we are we'll 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 have a look we'll we'll plug it into some decent speakers from its own amplifier and get an idea what uh, this thing actually sounds like on wireless and on the phono pickup it's got one of those generic uh, very cheap uh, ceramic pickups. I think they're ceramic. Come into focus. Okay, I'll just solder some wires on here so we can uh, hook it up 
and see what it really sounds like through decent speakers. Okay, we'll test it now on a big speaker and uh, compare it. <laughs> it looks a bit silly, doesn't it, compared to the, uh, the buyer turntable. OK, we'll see what it really sounds like through an RCA LC-1B. I am a truthful man. If she ever comes back to stay. We'll try it on AM. To Mito, and as mentioned earlier, they've got a strong hand tonight. Yeah, block in favour of pre-cut and pre-packaged products. And surprisingly, the AM is better than most expensive tuners. It sounds very good. It's quite wide bandwidth. <laughs> But the decision needed. Holt, greater glider to be. <laughs> okay, now FM. Mistress Amanda, Miss Keller. The building's back piss different. Let me catch early to determine whether lockdown will lift next Thursday after 80 cases were recorded. If you found it on the street or paid twenty dollars for it, I suppose it's okay. Uh, the, the speakers inside are absolute crap. But if you plug it into a decent speaker, it sounds okay. Actually, the the tune is very good. FM and AM particularly is very good. And the record player, um, it's okay. It's got a fairly lightweight pickup. It wouldn't damage your records too much, I don't think. So uh, yeah, it's certainly um, well, it's a piece of junk really, but uh, it does actually work reasonably well with external speakers. I also forgot to add that uh, there was some wow and flutter in the turntable operation, mainly because the, the belt had perished and I replaced it with a rubber band, which isn't very good because they, uh, they get a sort of a pulsating um, pulse and it causes uh, uh, wow and flutter. I'm sure uh, in its original situation it would have sounded quite uh, a lot better in that respect. Oh, sorry about the lack of the makeup department, but. There's nowhere to go, no one to see, nothing to do. This is all just displacement activity.